Well, tonight, businesses in Theodore say their bottom line is being impacted by road construction there. Several shop owners on Dawes Road tell us the roundabout that's going in is killing their business. NBC 15's Andrew Ramey spoke with very frustrated business owners today. Kevin Greg, very frustrated. And if you're thinking, didn't they just put a roundabout on Dawes Road? The county did. This is another one. And business owners say enough already with the construction. It's not easy these days getting to Crystal Lever's shop. That's perfect. And the traffic they are seeing isn't the kind they want. Construction crews are the only ones passing by. It's a struggle. Lieber opened up her vintage store in December 2016, and business was good, she says, until this August when construction on the new roundabout down the road began. How's that impacted your business? Um, I would say significantly, at least by 50%. She's not alone. Down the street on the other side of the construction zone is South Alabama Custom Meats. Their business is down between 10 and 15 percent. I've lost all of the people who drive by and just stop in. Uh, a lot of my regulars have found their way to me, but it's a lot more difficult for them to get to me. Lever had planned to hire an employee, but with business cut in half, that's not happening anymore. And it's likely business won't be bouncing back anytime soon. Construction is slated to go on for another two and a half months. That's a long time, especially yeah. in our busy season. Fortunately for me, I have a very supportive husband who's helping me, but um, if it wasn't for him, I, would, I probably wouldn't be making it. The county says on the bright side, it is ahead of schedule and should be finished by February. Kim and Greg. All right, Andrea, thanks. This isn't the only local business being affected by nearby road construction. Last week, we told you several businesses in Midtown Mobile are taking a hit because of a drainage project on Florida Street. Businesses like Bay Barbecue and Butch Cassidy say they are struggling. Other restaurants have taken to social media to ask people to support the businesses along Florida Street. City officials say the goal is to keep one lane on both sides of Florida Street open for the entire project.